This exercise is designed as a creativity warm-up. It's all about immersing yourself in the process and letting go of any preconceptions about finished work. It's not about how it looks, it's about how it feels as you're doing it. Although, actually you may find that this 10 minute exercise produces some really exciting and dynamic work that could become the point of departure for a whole series of more finished work. Or it could remain as it's intended, as an idea, as a fleeting creative impulse and as a reminder that you do have a creative soul. I'm just using poster paints with some chalks and also some oil pastels. But don't worry if you don't have both of those. Um, pencil crayons would also do fine. Um, and you might find a hairdryer is helpful too. So I've got two sheets of paper and two colours. So choose any two colours for your paint. They don't have to have a particular relationship with each other, just colours that you'd like to work with. And we're going to spend 10 minutes on this exercise. So if you've got a timer, you might like to set it. And we're going to work very intuitively. So try not to think too much about it. Just go with the flow. Enjoy the way the paint feels. Look at the gestures on the page. You can thin your paint down a little bit if it feels like it's a bit too heavy. Okay, and then when you're happy with that, you can start working over that with your second colour. And again, try not to plan too much. Work instinctively. Think about the gestures, the marks that you're making on the page. And try not to fill the whole page leave some white areas because we're going to work into those with a different medium.
I'm just going to dry these off very quickly with a hairdryer. It will only take a few seconds to dry these. Um, you can carry on with your paint wet, it doesn't matter too much, but if you do have a hairdryer, let's just dry these off and then we can start with the next stage. So I've dried these off, so they're not 100% dry, there are still a few quite thick tacky areas, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to carry on now and add my next step. So we're going to work over our painting with whatever you've got, whether it's pencil crayon or chalk or oil pastels. Personally, I love working with oil pastels. So I'm going to choose another colour, a very different colour, a really nice contrasting colour. And I'm going to start working in some of these white areas. Again, I don't want to fill the whole sheet. I just want to add some highlights. So again, just work intuitively. You might want to copy some of these gestures. You might want to block in some areas. Just do whatever feels good. So what happens when you work over the paint? How is that different to working on the paper as it's white? Going to get some chalk in there as well. I'm also going to add a really dark contrast here. So this is entirely up to you. You may not want to do this. Whoops. This is your this is your warm up. So you do whatever you want to do. But I quite fancy having some really dark in there as well. I've still got time. I'm not up to my 10 minutes yet, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, I'm going to 
stick with my color palette so I'm not introducing any more colors I'm just working in now with a yellow chalk happy with that. So those are my two crappy pages and I absolutely love them.